all day, so... I mean, coming into this third map S&D, anything can really happen, so... Yep, so I, mean, I think Frigo might take this next map. Search and destroy can go either way. It is first to six yeah, uh, as opposed to first to four. Um, but they need to step up the game here. If they do lose this search and destroy, it's going to be 5-1 to Fnatic. And that would mean they'd have to win five back-to-back -back games to win the tournament. I mean, you, you could talk about winning five uh, search and destroy rounds uh, in a row after being down 5-1. But five games in a row is incredibly hard. But you got to admit, Frigo's got, uh, got a really good S&D team. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the player is suited to S&D. They are quite passive sometimes, and yeah. it, it can work very well. But the Fnatic team do also have that that advantage. But um, I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm still going to stick with Frigo for this next map. But yeah, Fnatic to take the game after that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, so you're going with Frigo and S&D? Yeah, Frigo S&D. I don't know, man. I mean, they do play a, a mean S&D game, but Fnatic, after seeing what they just did to them on Demolition, mm -hmm. it seems like they're warmed up, ready to just close this out. They're, they're cool, calm racks. They've been here before. They get it. So um, I don't know, though. It's, Frico's definitely got to get into this game, so they have to win that one after dropping that demo on Havana. There is a bit of a toilet break on the Frico side, a though. A toilet now. break. Come on now. In the finals, and really? In the finals? T T1. Who, takes a, who takes a toilet break in the finals? T1 they, takes they, they, a toilet they've break. They've done it every single game. Every yeah. game you see, he goes through a Small toilet bladders. break. Small bladders. It might be that. <laughs> that might be it. I mean, the map is going to be summit. It is a very small map for search and destroy, so you usually see quite a quick search and destroy game and a lot of SMG game gameplay as well. SMG uncracked. We are on SMG cracked. Yeah. Oh, 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 you <laughs> SMG cracked. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Uh, so, yeah, so yeah, it's a big map. So we'll probably see more AR gameplay. There may yeah, even absolutely. be some M16s introduced, possibly by the AR players of Fnatic, such as MC. MC was going just ham there at the end, but he had the SMG for uh, he most of that game, but he did go really big for Played Fnatic. Yeah. So, so well. With the, that that whole team actually just, just put up a lot of kills. They just out just outslayed uh, Frico there in the entire game. So it looks like we're ready here. They're getting set up. Bathroom breaks are over here. So it is uh, time to get things cracking. Yep. So 4-1. No 4-1 no at the moment to Fnatic. <laughs> Fnatic are ready as well. Uh, we're going to get this game number three underway. Can Fnatic take a 4-1 advantage going into this series of the championship? I mean, they're not, Fariko aren't letting it get to them. No. They've got to keep their heads up here because if they lose this search and destroy, the comeback just is going to be too great for them. They've stayed pretty positive throughout this entire tournament, so I'm, I'm sure they're still really focused and not demoralized. So they just got to play their game at this point, not worry about Fnatic and just do them. I mean, what we will do, we'll stick on board with either team for two rounds before switching over. And, I mean, I'd like to get on board with Fariko to start with and see what they can do. What I want to know and is... Oh. We're just going to end this game. <laughs> Very quickly now. <laughs> there will be no free wins in the grand finals So now of we're EGL. going on to CTF Havana. <laughs> <laughs> and... It is. Are we good to go? We yep. go? Okay. Yeah, okay, and we're going to get back into this. I don't think one of the players connected there for some reason. But yeah, I sure respond in. I can <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll fourth time now at EGL. We'll we'll start with uh, we'll start with Farico initially. Is there any particular player you guys want to spectate? Uh, I think we should go on board with Rush in his waistcoat. Yeah, Ru Rush is always entertaining to watch, I can tell you that. So he'll, he won't let you down with that. No, nope, that's why. And T1 certainly turned it around after a rough start there. Yeah, that's so. what I put the scoreboard up there in the middle of the game just to see how T1 was doing. He was going hugely negative halfway through that game. But then yeah, he just it was brought one it to back three, up. and then I think he almost finished even. So he did bring yeah. it back for sure in a big way. I mean, I remember watching him at Reflex GT4, and he pulled off an amazing one versus four in the first round of a search and destroy. Let's see if he can replicate that now in the grand finals of EGL. We'll jump on board with Fariko T1 to start with. Who did you want to start with? You said Rush. Oh, yeah. no, we're going to start with Rush, but people are picking the wrong team. Oh, man. Amateurs. <laughs> Mistakes were made here. Mistakes were made. Yeah. They don't goof. So, third time's a charm. So, we're going to start up SD Uncracked again. <laughs> a little bit frustrating. And hopefully, we get teams right. I don't spawn in. We're going to get on Rush. 
It's all good. How do you guys feel about Kyle? This is your first uh, event, right? Commentating championship. This is big. I mean, we, we, we have had you our experience on. Stellar, yeah, and Deserto. Deserto Live. We do do the live stream for Deserto Live, but how often not, do you guys do that? Of a big audience. How often? Uh, well, recently, the past few, the past week or so, we'll be doing it nearly every night. Yeah, you we guys are putting a lot of work it. into it, man. It's awesome. No, I'm on a fair three comes around. <laughs> MW3 is a bit. This is actually a bit, uh, to note that this is the last time we'll yep. see Black Ops Championship at EGL after this game. Yep. It's time to put Black Ops to rest here. I know, but if, if Fnatic go on to win this game now, surely they can call themselves the best Black they, Ops if team. If Fnatic from. wins this, they, they absolutely deserve to, as a franchise to be called the best Black Ops team, no doubt about it. Mythics will contest that, but... Uh, after Mythic's outing this weekend, I don't know no. if they can contest that. To be honest with Fnatic, you. when they have not placed first, they have always been close. But Mythic's this weekend has just been a completely different squad than what we're used to. But hopefully they will come back from Modern Warfare 3, and I fully expect them to be back at the top at some point during that game. Here we go now. We're on board with Rush. We're on the right teams. I didn't spawn in. Totally We're ready good. to go. Game Let's number three. Sure. Life is good, guys. Just bringing up the scoreboard to make sure each player is alive on their respective teams. And Rush is going to be playing AR for Fariko now. He's not, uh, probably not going to be living up to his name. He usually plays SMG and pushes up quite heavily, but it does look like Fariko may have some sort of strategy here as we see a unified team making an advance towards the bomb site. Yeah, I like uh, I like this move that they're doing. Uh, you, you certainly rolling together never hurts, but oh. that's also what can happen when you pack together as MC just picks up a wonderful nade, taking out two players for Fariko. Now we're on board with T1 trying to move in. He gets out. Vapes is not letting him run anywhere, so a 4v1 situation. All that's left on the board is Torres for him. Bomb is down. He's got to do a lot of things here. Trying to take out MC. Shots fired. Hit markers picked up. And there's Fnatic players all around him. But he is playing well. Oh. But Biss knocks him out. Doesn't let him go far. And Fnatic takes round number one there. Yeah, it was good play from Torres there. The silencer may have worked to his disadvantage slightly, possibly weakening, but Bissell using the silencer too and managing to pick up that kill against Torres. Things were looking bleak for him. He did need to get that bomb down or kill all four of Fnatic, who are proving to be one of the strongest teams in this tournament. If not the strongest. I mean, what was I thinking when I put them down as choke team? I mean, it was an idiotic idea. I did ask Mike if I could change that on the sort of predictions thread before it went up, and he would not let me because he's... Tony, that thread is probably blown up right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Funny Tony, man. Funny Tony. Has funny Mike tunny. actually changed my so are you using them, the Funny Tony or...? What's that? Has he changed my decision? No, no, I don't, I don't think so, but you might have it get changed. Yeah, it's going to happen now. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at him. He's Somebody's already reserved that gamer tag as we're on board with T1. Shots fired. Vapes takes out T1 there. Big play here as we're looking around. It is now a 4v3 situation. All Fnatic players are up. Rush taking out Biss, making it a 3v3. You've got Fariko on the defensive side of things. Rush keeping an eye on one bomb site. The rest of the guys scattered throughout the map here as Torres takes out MC. Rev takes out Vapes, and now you're looking at just Toby all alone in a 3v1 situation. He's going to have to come up big if Fnatic's going to pull this round out. And here's a start as he comes out and takes out Rush. And he's currently engaged in a gunfight with only 30 seconds left on the clock. It's going to be huge if Toby can pull this off against two of the free co plays. It will be a one versus three. He is also on the attack and he is slowly running out of time with only 20 seconds left to get a bomb plant down. Yeah, I think Fariko are just going to set up around the bomb sites now and just make sure that he's not going to do anything about it. Oh, but, oh, oh they, what are these? they should have done that, yeah. but they certainly didn't as... Uh, as you just saw, it, uh, Toby's just going on ninja mode. Gets a bomb planted down there, but Rev picking it up and getting the defuse. So, valiant effort by Toby and the Fnatic squad, but Fariko playing that one well. Going to get the defuse on that. Yeah, it's going to be 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard, and can Fariko do this? I mean, the first round didn't go too well. They got wiped out very, very quickly, and just it was over and done with in about five seconds. <laughs> yep. T1 but, yet to pick up a kill. And we'll get on board with Biss now, who's had an exceptionally good tournament. He's been playing absolutely amazing so far from all the games that I've spectated. And he's opting to use the AK, which is not something we see too much. He is predominantly an SMG player, but he's on the defense on search and destroy on a large map. So maybe this is the wise thing to do. Yeah, Cracked really forces you to, to pull out an assault rifle because you'll get frustrated in those long range situations when you find yourself on the street shooting down and you've got an MP5 and it's just... 
does you nothing at that point. So this is definitely going to be a, an AK battle here as Toby picks up a two-piece, knocking out Rush as well with the Python and Biss. So we're looking at a 4v2 situation as Biss takes out T1. And now you're just seeing back and forth action between these two teams. And this round, though, is Fnatic that's going big. Yeah, they seem to have got the Fariko player just caught on now. And see Vapes is watching. He's just watching every single angle. But Rev does take out MC. Yep. Uh, but they are set up around and they know exactly where he is. Watching Vapes yeah, now. Ready. <laughs> set up in an interesting position. There's not long left on the clock. And it's going to be very difficult for the Fariko player to pull this one off. 15 seconds. Time is ticking away. And all of Fnatic are, well, three of Fnatic are still alive defending those bomb sites well. Yeah, this is kind of, uh, they're just seeking out him right now. As now we see him on there, we've got Biss on the sights, and he picks up. No, it's actually Toby that gets the last kill as they all converge on him running up there and close it out there. So Fnatic going up 2-1. Yeah, it's, um, they seem to just want to close this game out. Now they're outclassing for Rico, if anything. Just, you just see them outshoot everyone. So, I mean, that's the main thing you have to get down originally, and it's not happening for Rico at the, for Rico at the moment. No, this is going to be the first attack inside that we view for Fnatic MSI. We are on, we've spectated this quite a bit, so we'll get on board with Toby, who seems to be playing quite aggressively compared to his teammates, and they are making an advancement towards one of the bomb sites. Rico really need to win this search and destroy. Losing this will put Fnatic in the lead 5-1 in this first of six or best out of 11 grand final. And Toby, he's hanging out here, and Bomb is still back there. But these guys are trying to move up. 58 seconds left on the clock, moving around. You look out here, it's only two players up for Fnatic. Toby being one of those, trying to get some shots on there. Gives away his position, and Rush comes up, takes him out. So Vapes is the last man standing here, and he's got to make something happen as Fariko is just looking in for him. So we keep seeing mirrored effects that happen each game. You know, it's Fnatic that goes big, now it's Fariko go big. So it, it, it's hard to determine the outcome of this game. It's definitely uh, it's going to be one down to the wire, I think, towards the end. Yeah, Vapes is in a 1v2 situation after already taking out two of the Fariko team. I mean, it's, could Vapes do it? I mean, it is Vapes after all. He has spotted that bomb. He is searching. He is slowly running out of time, though, now, and he needs to produce something from this situation. The odds are against him, but uh, he has been spotted now near the A-bomb site, exchanging bullets. It was, it was never looking good for him there. The time was just against him. There's only one and a half minute in a round, and the scores are now equalized 2-2 between Fariko and Fnatic MSI. Yeah, T1 broke that goose egg that he had, and that was it right there with the round winning kill. So he, uh, he's off that list now, as he was rolling a donut for a little bit. We're gonna switch back over now and get the point of view of Fariko. See if they continue this good form, if they are able to make this comeback. And we are on board with Rev. He's made a push. He's Gonna see if he can find any of the Fnatic MSI players. He has spotted one, shooting a lot of bullets. None of them connecting though, and he has revealed his location. So he's got to be very careful here. Yeah, that wasn't brilliant shooting by Rev there. It's not expected of him anyway because of how well he's played during the day, especially in SND, as me and Fizz did watch and commentate on. But uh, at the moment, it's uh, it is tied up in this map. But I think Fnatic have been there. He's just he's seen him there. That's not good play from uh, Rev there. Yeah. Yeah, and there you have it. Toby's just going off right now. MC picks up another kill on T1, and Biss closes it out on Torres. So again, just this round after round, switching back and forth. This time, Fnatic is the one that took care of business. Yeah, just wiping out the free throw team in quick succession there. Good shooting by Biss. And the AK Silence just seems to be something that's being used by both teams quite a lot on this S&D. Also playing on a very high sensitivity as well, making it hard to pick off such close-range shots like that. Let's get the view of T1 and get a bit of casting on him. He's, he, he didn't seem to be having a great game at the start of this, and it's not really, it's no, not really got any better no, as time's gone by. Yeah, the round winning kill, but you know he, he'll be all right. He's got to get back into this game. as He did spot somebody, but he retreats a little bit on the kill feed. You see Torres picks out Toby. T1 played that one well as he waited for ba Vapes and took him out. Nice shooting by him. MC clears out Torres. So... This is uh, just another brawl in the very beginning of this map. Yeah, we're on board with T1, who did make that kill quite easily on Vapes. Not expected of Vapes to just sort of put himself out there for the kills. He made it very easy for T1. But now we are in a three versus two situation in the favor of Fariko. 
Yeah, but it is going to be Bissell and his teammate MC who are still alive for Fnatic. Played so, so well in the previous two games that we have cast on this main stage. Will they be able to pull this off? The odds are against them. Oh. Rush gets what I think was a bit of a turn on on MC. We just missed that. But now one versus three for Rico. Really trying to stay in this game. And Rush is just going to set up a little bit here. Hopefully he can stay alive long enough and prevent this one versus three that Bissell is on track to get. But time is running out very quickly on that clock. Yeah, Bissell going for the kill on Rush. He does not have enough time. And that's going to be the round to Rico any second. Now oh. Bissell does take out Rush, but I can't see T1 rushing in there. And he's just going to close out the round. No. It's going to go 3-3. Three, three. The right decision made there by the Fariko player. Yes. There was no need to reveal his location. He just had to stay alive knowing that Fnatic wouldn't be able to get the bomb plant down. We'll switch over now to Fnatic. See what's going on for those guys. And get straight on board with Vapes. Let's see what he can do with we've, the silencer. We've said Vapes' name I feel like a million times in the past three minutes. But he's just doing really well here as he does spot somebody coming across there. And shots fired, takes out Rush. Nice shooting here as now he's got to move up a little bit. And now they are going to play a little bit conservative. But he sees Rev and MC getting in a battle. And he meets up there to get a retribution kill for his buddy MC. Yeah, Vapes pulling out some numbers in this and The crowd is right behind him, which is rightly so. And he's looking for a third kill there on the round. Don't think he's going to pick up Ace for his team, but uh, Fnatic looking very strong in this round. Yeah, two kills to his name so far in round number seven. Just making sure that body was dead. And he's going to try and seek out those remaining two players, or the remaining one player, but Bizzle manages to clean it up. Now we are seeing Fnatic MSI in the lead 4-3 in this first to six search and destroy. Bizzle on the final kill cam here, taking out Torres. So every round it is switched. It's been 1-0, one, 1-1, one, oh, one, 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 exactly. It's close. And uh, if this way continues, it's going to be Fnatic that, that pulls it out. So who knows, man. But yeah, every single round has been incredibly close in the sense that they just keep trading them off each and every time here. So we're on board with Biss. He's going to get up a smoke screen as these guys are pushing towards one flag. Vapes picks up a nice kill with the frag grenade on Rev as these guys are moving as one unit into the location. But now, instead of a rush, they're kind of seeing it, feeling it out here before they just move in. Yeah, it seemed like a very, very strong push onto the bomb site there. And players have been spotted from the Fariko team as Biss sets himself up in a good position and it, they are quite, there is some aggressive player and some defensive player as he takes out T1 with a good shot but does get picked out by Rush. Yeah, T1 isn't having the best of games at the moment and Fnatic MSI are making the most of that fact on board with Vapes now as he tries to provide support to his teammate and we are going to see if Fnatic can develop anything from this situation as Ooh. MC gets that bomb plant. Nice, and he gets out of there, he ducks out of there, perfect timing. Now he's got some good coverage on there. If you guys look at it, it is a 2v2 situation. MC and Vapes up going against Torres and Rush. This is just a, a nice little 2v2 battle that's happening now as Torres makes it a 2v1 as he knocks out MC. Bomb is still down. Vapes knows that he can hear it as he's hanging around in that area to make sure nobody touches it. Hurt somebody, tried to do a fake defuse as that sound went off, but he's not having and he's in a good position. If he can keep drawing them out for a little bit longer, it'll force them to have to get it. And no such luck as there you have it. Fariko is going to get the defuse. So, again, this pattern of switching off every single round continues as it is now 4-4 here on Search and Destroy Cracked. Yeah, it was looking very, very good for Fnatic there, but they just slowly got taken out. And it was a very good play by the Fariko team who just went for the bomb defuse to try and draw Vips out. And he was drawn out where they expected him. And one player just distracted on bomb defused if he hadn't gotten that if he had made that kill. I don't think he would have had time to stop the diffuser. And it's gonna go to four four and I can see this going all the way to five five as well and we will see the last round of S and D. Yeah, these guys are just so evenly matched on the search and destroy end of things here and in each round it's somebody that goes off and makes a difference and there you have Farico and, and company drawing the first blood there on Toby. So they've they've got a nice little squad here as they're moving in, but Biss answers back, taking out Rev. Rush hanging back here, T1 set up on shop, and Torres is with them. So these guys are staying together as a nice little pack. It's going to be really tough for the team that does end up losing this Search and Destroy. When Search and Destroys get so close like this, it can really demotivate you moving into the later rounds. Fnatic MSI, though, have made it so that only Fariko Torres is left alone. Gunfight between Rush and Biss. Oh, it's actually Rush that was still left alive for Fariko. He is actually in a one versus three. He has been spotted. And he's just got to be really careful here. Yeah. He has fallen at the hands of MC, though. 
Not much you could do though. That was a tough situation as everybody was set up there. You see MC at the high point as well. And actually it was MC that was the one who jumped down and picked up the nice kill. So good, good movement here by MC to, to finish that one up. And again, the theme continues of switching off every round. So here we go, it is match point for Fnatic MSI. Can they take this now to a 5-1 lead in this series? Or will Fariko be able to get two back-to-back -back games or win two back-to-back -back rounds? We are on board with Rush. We're going to see what he can produce from this awkward situation that they have been left in. Toby cleaning him up though, and now Fnatic MSI, four versus three, could see this through. Yeah, this is a, that was a big start off to the map as far as they drew first blood here, but Torres is going to get Biss out of there, making it a 3v3. Rev sitting back here, T1's ready to be anywhere you need him at this point. And you've got Toby that does take out Torres, so this is a tough situation because you've got three up, four Fnatic, and you've got Rev and T1, who have a collective 6 and 14 between the two of them. And that doesn't look promising when you see that all of the Fnatic players are in the positive. Yeah, T1 doesn't have the best games for Farigo. He didn't go, as I said, he started off very badly on the last map, but now he's by himself going 2-7 and seven against two members of Fnatic team. Yeah, despite the fact that Bizzle is down, though, he's actually on 10-5 to five going double positive, positive, really putting in the work on this search and destroy cracked. Farigo, T1, needs to do this for his team. There is not long left on the clock, and he's just got to make sure that that bomb doesn't get planted and run that time down. There you have it. So they pull out that search and destroy game. So they win game number one, game number three, and now they are only one game away from being crowned the EGL for London Grand Final champion. Back to back, too, nonetheless. So it's uh, you got if you're if you're for Rico, you've got to get a little bit nervous here and start to focus up. Yeah, they can't let their heads get down at this stage. Five back-to-back -back games against Fnatic MSI is going to be extremely.